guys, today I have another thrift store haul, a uh, rummage sale haul as well. Um, there actually was a rummage sale this past Saturday. I was so excited because I feel like it's been forever since I went to just kind of a, a yard sale, kind of rummage sale. So it was fill a bag for $10. So I did stop there and then uh, the town I was in also has a thrift store so I figured I would take a peek while I was in that town and I did find some stuff there as well. So I have two separate ones to show you today. Um, I don't know which one I want to start with first, whether or not I want to do the fill bag or the thrift store. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Let's go with the fill a bag first since that's the first place that I stopped. Now, you guys know me, when it comes to fill a bag sales, I'll stuff my bag full. I definitely get my money's worth. Uh, so this was $10 to fill a bag. The bag size looks like this. It was a very large, very large plastic bag with nice carrying handles. I actually had everything stuffed in there pretty well, um, more so than what it looked like now. Kind of the, the shoebox was hanging off the top, but I had everything like really stuffed down in there. Um, so I'll just start with those first since that's the first thing I'm pulling off of the top here. I found these shoes. They were brand new in the box. They're by a company called Italian Shoemakers. Um, the price tag on the side says they were originally $59.99 at Boss Cobbs. And I thought these were cute. They are not my size, so they will probably be going up um, possibly in my Poshmark. Um, I just recently opened a Poshmark, so if you didn't see my last thrift store haul, I do have now down in my description a link to my Poshmark closet. If you're interested in checking it out, just throwing it out there. Haven't had any sales yet, but I don't have a whole lot listed either, so I gotta get to listing some stuff. But these are what the shoes look like. They're just really cute black sandals. They're a size eight and a half. And they have a little bit of a heel on them. Definitely appear to be brand new as well. I don't see any marks at all on the soles. So I thought they were cute. If they were my size, I'd probably keep them, but they are not. So I got those and just keep in mind everything I'm pulling out of this bag right now. I only paid $10 for the entire bag. This was also a really good um, deal to throw in my bag. This is just a red Tignanello leather bag. And this looks new too. I don't know if it was ever used or not. The bottom looks great. I don't see any kind of like scuff or dirt marks. These little like buckle pieces here are kind of curled up a little bit. I don't know if that's just how the purse was made or just over time they curled. I don't know. Uh, but this is really cute. It's made of leather. Very, very soft. The top opens with like a magnet. And then inside it has this little snap so you can keep it shut. Um, and then when you open it, it opens up further. So it looks like they just kind of stuffed some bags in there to keep its shape. The inside is lined in this like silky kind of fabric and then that is the brand. And they make really nice quality handbags, that brand. So I definitely threw that in my bag. Um, This I actually found um, when I was rifling through a rack of clothes, it fell. And I wasn't even thinking about it. I don't typically buy children's clothes because, well, I don't have any kids. Um, and I don't really sell children's clothes either. I never really got into it. But I did recognize this brand, Hannah, Hannah Anderson. And I thought this was so stinking cute. It's a little brown vest. It's really, really soft. And then it's lined in this hot pink material. So I got that to, to sell. So I thought it was just so stinking cute. A couple other pieces of clothing. Um, I don't know what all I'm keeping yet. I have to try stuff on. That's the problem. When, I, when I'm when i buying to like resell, I just never know like what I'm going to keep out of everything until I try on. But I got this. This is just a Tech Gear yoga workout kind of tank top. It's pink and it just has this kind of design to it. It almost looks... A little bit like camo kind of and then the back looks like that and that is a size medium so 
I thought that was cute. I got this Ann Taylor Loft Black Top. I thought this was really cute too for like summertime. It's kind of like a tank top. The sleeves have this ruching and then these little like ties that hang off the side there. And that's what that looks like. And this is a size, I'm not sure, let me see if it says in this tag. Do, 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 do. Is there a tag in here? Maybe not. Nope, looks like our size tag might be missing. Are we missing our size tag? Hold up. Yeah, I think our size tag has been chopped out. Uh, but this looks like a medium to me, possibly large. We shall see. It's very stretchy though. Next, I got these American Eagle jeans. These are the, what's the style name here? The Slim Boot. They are a size 12 regular. Um, these might be a little too short for me. Uh, but they look like this. Da -da 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 -da. It's hard to show, I know, on camera like that. But that's what they look like. Um, yeah, I'll have to try them on. Normally, I wear a long length because I'm kind of tall. So, I don't know. Regular might be too short for me. And I threw in this top. I've never... I've never seen something like this before. This is by Columbia. I don't normally buy like outdoor uh, clothing. You know, I prefer the indoors. You can tell because I'm really pale. Uh, but this has Omni Shade sun protection. So that's really cool. Apparently it will um, keep out UV rays and stuff like that. So this would be good for like if you're spending a lot of time outside, like camping or hiking or something like that. Um, but it's purple. It feels really nice and lightweight. So I got that. That's a size large. I threw that in my bag. I thought it was neat. I threw this in here. It's just like a basic little um, sweater cardigan thing that you just like throw over tank tops and stuff. I'm at it short sleeve so it would be perfect for like the spring. This is by Maurice's and it is a size medium. I thought this would be cute with that black um, Ann Taylor top that I got. If it all fits well and all. I got two of these tops by Dress Bar. They are so pretty. They're not really my style but I just think they're gorgeous. Um, They have like this same kind of print really and I'll show you the other one but this one has more of a blue color in it and hopefully my camera is picking up the like glitzy kind of spanglies all over it uh, but it's kind of got a v-neck and three-fourth length sleeves that one does and like I said this is by Dress Barn it is a size large so I got that one so got this one and this one's more of a brown the other one had blue in it but it's very similar just a little bit different a little bit different of a cut this one goes down but then it has kind of a um, little piece that hangs there but it's by the same brand dress barn and is a size large so I just thought those were really pretty so I got those I got this American Eagle Outfitters hooded sweater. It's got like a knitted kind of design there on the front and it feels really soft. Looks like that. And this is a size large. So that I probably just wear around the house or something. I got this Lisa Frank um, pencil case. I just thought it was so cute. I just threw it in my bag because it was really small and adorable. And it just has um, the little tiger cub on there. I guess his name is Forrest. Um, and it looked, it looked like it was in good condition. I don't really see any like pen marks or marker stains in there. So I just got that to throw in some of my pencils. You guys know I collect vintage children's books, and I actually had this one when I was young. It's called Gus Was a Friendly Ghost by Jane Thayer, and this is so cute. Um, I started reading it already, 
But um, I didn't finish it yet, but I do remember the story and the illustrations are so cute. So I got that to add to my collection and I was super excited about that because it was one I, I actually owned when I was little. And then, and then, and then. The thing I got was a vintage um, Miss Piggy wooden play school puzzle. And I have to put this together right now because it came apart. So, how long will this take me? These ones are like a little funky. Okay, all right, there it goes. So this is from 1983 and it just has Miss Piggy kind of admiring herself in the mirror with her little dress up clothes on. I thought that was so stinking cute. So I put that in my bag too. So that was my fill a bag. So I got all of that stuff for $10. And then like I said, I went over to the thrift store and I found some stuff as well. So the first thing I got, I actually seen there the last time I was there and it was still there. So I was like, I might as well just get this because <laughs> I was gonna get it last time and then I didn't. Um, but like I said, it was still there and it is a Bare Minerals Beautifully bronzed, um, sunless, sunless body tanner. And it comes with the tanner, like the pump, and the, um, I guess it's like the applicator or something. I don't know, but it was brand new. It was still in the packaging. I paid $5 for that. I thought that was a good deal, though, because this, I'm sure, was way more than 5 bucks. I don't really do the whole self-tanner thing, so I'm probably going to sell that. I've just owned up to my paleness. I'm fine with it. Um, the next thing I got, and I'm definitely going to be selling these because they are not my size, but they are so stinking cute. Uh, these are by Vince Camuto. They were $3, and they are just these gorgeous, like, nude suede heels. And they look like they're in brand new condition too. I don't really see anywhere there on the bottom. They got a nice heel to them. They're very, very pretty. Wish they were my size, but even if they were, I'm not the most confident girl ever in heels. Let's just say I am not very graceful when it comes to anything, including walking. So, but I got those. I thought this was a great deal. This was brand new with the original tag still attached for $19.99. And I only paid a dollar for it. That's crazy. That's like walking into the dollar store and getting a brand new Caboodles bag for a buck. Uh, but this one is very large. Um, it says Caboodles. I have that the wrong way. <laughs> it says Caboodles on the front. It's clear. Uh, it just looks a little dusty. Like I'm going to have to wipe it off. Um, probably just has been stored somewhere in someone's house for a long time. Um, I'm not sure if this is like a more recent one or maybe it's older. It's from 2006, 2007. I just answered my own question. I haven't decided what I'm going to use this for yet or if I'm going to sell it. I could probably put it to use with the crazy amount of like, you know, lip balms and stuff I have, but I haven't decided yet if I'm keeping it or not. And then the last thing I found, and this was also a really good deal, I feel like whoever was kind of donating <laughs> to the thrift store maybe buys stuff on QVC and then ends up not liking it because I feel like this and the Bare Minerals might have come both from QVC, especially how that Bare Minerals was packed in that plastic. Uh, but this is Josie Marin 100% Pure Argon Oil. And this is a big bottle, four fluid ounce. I paid $3 for this. And I know dang well this stuff's probably like $30, $40 a bottle. And it is seriously brand new. It is filled to the tip -a tip -a tip -a top So, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping this or not. I haven't decided. Um, it says you can use it as a daily moisturizer, nighttime treatment, and to heal and condition everything from cuticles to split ends. So it has like multi-use. But I do have argon oil um, from another company that I got um, at one of my work sales. So I don't know if I really need like two bottles. So I might um, sell that one as well. So I don't know. Haven't decided yet. But that is all for my fill-a-bag sale and my thrift 
store haul. So you guys will have to let me know what you thought, if you thought I got some really good deals and all that stuff. Like I said, I will have a link to my Poshmark. You might see some of this stuff pop up there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.